Okay, Dr. Nick Raz, the Santa Barbara Family Chiropractic. How to pick up your baby safely. Holy moly, babies are subluxators. So they're they're delicate. You can't drop them. You gotta keep them close, you gotta keep them safe. They are heavy and they get heavier and they have a lot of stuff. And a lot of times you gotta carry them in their stuff. I mean it's crazy. All the time, especially the car seat, getting that in the car. This thing, I can't remember what it's called right now, we've got a pack and play. This thing cribs. I mean, it's brutal because the, the, the keys to lifting things under load <coughs> are to not round your spine. Brace your core, keep your spine straight, and keep things close to your body. Those are the three keys. But cribs and pack and plays, especially as the kid gets bigger and heavier, has to get lower and deeper so they can't jump out right, or fall out. So what do you do? You say, I'm sorry, kid, I can't pick you up. No, you don't do that, right? Because they're screaming and crying. They don't care about your back, uh, right? So how important is it to be healthy, by the way? If your mom, your dad, kids don't care. They just don't care at all. They're not, they're not interested in whether or not you feel well. They're interested in their needs, right? So you got to make sure that a lot of times we have these conversations with moms especially. It's like we got to put the mom ahead in the family household, the, the focus, the energy, the investment of time, energy, resources, and getting the mom strong and healthy so that everybody else is better, right? Because when mom's not working right, nothing's working right. So, and that's tough because our culture tells us to sacrifice for the sake of our kids. But if we're not putting energy towards our health, then we can't be the best mom or dad or whatever to our, to our family, okay? So, but I went off on a tangent. Here we go. How to get the kid out of this, this contraction. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your body as close to the thing as you can possibly get. Right, you do not want to be out here, out here for the camera angle. You want to be close. Okay, that baby might be way over there because there's walls and stuff, whatever. You're going to take that baby. You're going to scoot him over here. Come on over here, buddy. There you go. We're going to get you nice and close. We've got a 10-pound baby right here. We're going to get close to the body. We're going to keep my spine straight. Engage my, uh, squeeze my shoulder blades together a bit there. And pick that baby up. Okay. Spine kept straight like the little baby isn't cute. 10 pounds. All right, so a 10 pound baby, no big deal. Close, because the thing is high, right? If they're way down there, I'd be doing this, and then I'd be tight as I can tight be, because I'm gonna have to round a bit. And when I round, I gotta be tight, okay? You still wanna keep everything close. So, you're like, that's great, Dr. Nick, but I got a 30 pound baby. What about your 10 pound baby? So we got a 30 pound kettlebell here. So what I'm doing right here, not as safe. All right, that was a trick. So you guys catch up. I want to get close, right? So picking up the 30 pound baby, same thing. We're going to reach underneath, support what we got to support, get close, lift that baby up. Okay. If that baby's down, we have to go way over. Let's pretend that this is the edge and I got to deep, deep down because this one's too, too high here. I'm going to do this and get as close as we can. And we might have to round a little bit, but we're going to keep our abs really tight. Okay, so that's not ideal. But the abs are super tight. As long as those abs are clicked in like that weight belt, you're going to be safer. <coughs> also for uh, carrying around the car seat, try to load that in. A lot of times you got to make this distance in the car to loading it in there. So you're going to keep everything straight. You're going to lift that baby up however you do. And you're almost going to like... Give it a little toss. Not a big toss, little toss, right? You got the car seat. You're just going to try to hook them right in there. Okay. So keeping it all straight, hook them right in there. It's kind of like a, a decelerated descent. So that's important. When you get them out, you want to get lift them off of the thing, pull them off, get them close to the body, pick them up. Stay close, stay close, stay close. The further you have to hold your kid out here, harder it is on you. And they want to be close anyway, so it works out. All right. All this stuff matters. Repetitions, you know, you think about your spending health when you're doing it the wrong way. Deposits when you're doing it the right way, protecting yourself. So health is freedom. Babies try to take that from us. Um, practice this stuff. Keep that core tight, as tight as can be. Phone a friend if you're around, if you can. Um, if you can't, just keep practicing. All right? And uh, have a good day.